It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to use portrait mode on Google Pixel 2. So, on the Google Pixel 2 and Google Pixel 2 XL, there's a cool feature about the camera called portrait mode. And quite a few expensive phones have this portrait mode feature, but most of them had to install two camera lenses in order to make it work. But the Google Pixel 2 only has one, and yet the portrait mode on it still works really well. For taking portraits of things or people, and it also works on the selfie camera as well, so you can take a selfie and have it be in portrait mode. That way, all the background gets blurred out, and then the object, the, so the person or the thing you're taking a picture of, will then be in re re look really clear, and it'll stand out from everything in the background. So that makes it look really cool. So, that's really cool, and in this episode, Tim's going to show you how to use that. So, when you're in your Google Pixel 2's camera app, you just go down to the three lines, down the bottom or up the top, depending on if whether you have it, ro ro which way you have it rotated. So tap on those lines, and then tap Portrait. So now it's in Portrait mode, and you can take a picture like this if someone's standing in front of you. So it focuses on just the object. And sometimes it says tap to focus. If it says that, it means it's not quite clear, so you just tap on the object and it'll figure it out. Or what you can do is you can turn it around and then take a selfie using the portrait mode. So then you just take the picture and then when you view it, it'll be portrait mode. So you notice here, the background is all blurred out and the object is nice and clear. There's not very good lighting here, so the picture doesn't look perfect, but the portrait mode has worked well. And if you tap on it so you get all the icons around, you'll notice you can tap, you get this little thing down the bottom, and you can tap on this side and you see it non-portrait mode, just a normal picture. But if you tap on this, which is where it automatically is, then the background will be blurred and the object's clear. And you can tell it's portrait mode because up the top right, it has a little portrait icon. So it tells you it's portrait. So that's really cool. And it can also be used for taking pictures of objects too, not just people. So if you want to take a picture of an object, just we'll get your object. And then once you're in the camera app, tap on the lines and tap portrait, just like you did before. But stay switched around to the main camera, not the selfie camera which you can also do for people and then just take the picture off that object and then once you've done that just tap the button up the top right like you did before and then you see this image so it has processing down here but after it's finished processing then it figures out what's the background and now you get a clear picture of the object with a blurred out background so that's really cool so that's how it's done that'll be the end of this episode of tech time bye